Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an HDR photo using GIMP and the correct way to do this is actually to take two photographs in one of the photos you need to expose the sky and the other one you need to expose the land or uh, ocean, sea, anything that's on the land and then you need to blend the two images together using the same trick that I'm going to show you later in this video but in this video I'm actually going to use just one photograph and I'm going to fake this effect so let's get started and as you can see here I've opened this image and this is a good image to start with because we have uh, the land here is very well exposed but also we have uh, enough detail in the sky to achieve the effect that we want to achieve and first thing let's uh, duplicate this layer two times and uh, if you are doing this you need to duplicate it just once I'm going to use one of the layers to to show you the before and after editing the image at the end of the tutorial and next I'm going to make this layer invisible and select this one make it active then I'll go to colors levels and I'm going to grab this slider and move it over here and you see the effect and I also use the midpoint if I want to make it look more dramatic I think something like this is good enough so let's click OK to apply the effect then make this layer visible and also active then right click and add a layer mask just click add then go to the blend tool and just make sure you have selected the layer mask first and then click and drag like this to apply this effect and now the next thing I can do is use the brush tool make sure I'm on the layer mask I will select the brush adjust the size also you may want to adjust the opacity decrease it a little bit and with the black color I want to paint on the sky to increase the effect to uncover the image below which is this image and then I can click on this option and this way I'll be painting with white color and in this case I want to be painting on the land and this will basically uncover the original image so if you want to do this additional editing you can do that but be careful here where the sky and the land meet you need to be careful you need to paint with brushes uh, with uh, more fuzziness and also a lower opacity to make sure you get smooth transition between the sky and the land I'm going to undo a few steps using Control Z and then I'm going to shift click on this layer to show you the before and after editing and you see that even just with the blend tool we have a pretty nice effect and like I said if you want to make it a little bit better you can use the brush tool the way I showed you earlier in the video so this is how you can create an HDR photo using just one photograph in GIMP. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that it was useful. If it was, subscribe, like the video. That's it for now. Bye.